With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A ball of mass m moving with a speed v makes an head-on collision with an identical ball at rest. Kinetic energy of the balls after the collision is three-fourth of the original kinetic energy. Then you have to find out the coefficient of restitution. It is given that initially the m mass ball was moving with a velocity v, right? And it collide. Uh, its collision is head-on, right? So, after the collision, let's suppose they start moving with velocity v1 and v2. Right. Okay. So, we want the coefficient of restitution. So, let's, uh, let's see what is the co coefficient of restitution. Coefficient of restitution is Velocity of separation after the collision that is v1 minus v2 and velocity of approach before the collision. So this we want in the question, right? So let's see how we'll approach it. In the question, it is given that the final kinetic energy is 3 by 4 time four, uh, 3 by 4 of the original, right? So let's see. Initial you can see is half m v square since the ball was moving with a, with a velocity v. So initial is this and final you can see so I will take m by 2 common here so I will get here m by 2 v1 square plus v2 square now it is said in the question that the kinetic energy of the ball after the collision is 3 by 4 of the original right so 3 by 4 of the original means this 3 by 4 of this quantity right so i will put v1 square plus v2 square so this m by 2 will get cancelled out right so i will write Now we want v1 minus v2, right? So if you see in the question, there is no external force. So we can apply the momentum conservation also. So let's apply that. So we'll write here initial linear momentum is equals to final linear momentum. So initially the ball uh, m ball of m mass was moving with velocity v and finally this right so i will write v is equals to v1 plus v2 very simple so now if you see we have the value of v1 minus v2 is equals to ev and v1 plus v2 from here if you see here v1 minus v2 is equals to ev and v1 plus v2 is v right so we can if you see this right so we can write it as this equation 1 so we can write this equation 1 as v1 plus v2 whole square plus v1 minus v2 v2 whole square since we know the value of v1 plus v2 and v1 minus v2 so this is equals to this and divided by 2 right so just we put it the value of v1 by v2 and here i will write 4 Right, so this will get cancelled out by 2. Very simple. Now just put the value of V1 as V square and V1 minus V2 as we calculated here is EV. Right, so I will write E square V square is equals to 3 by 2 V square. So you can cancel out this V. Right, so you will get E square is equals to half. And uh, E will be equals to 1 by root 2 as the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.